Our Nikki Dementri has been out in Indianapolis talking to voters and checking on how things are running at vote centers. She joins us from the city's Broad Ripple neighborhood tonight with a look at any issues that might have come up during the day. Nikki. Hey there, Mark. So there's nearly 200 vote centers here in Marion County. Of course, there were some issues today. One of those issues were long lines. We saw them here at the old Broad Ripple High School. As you mentioned, polls are closed now. Actually, the last person just came out that voted. I'm told a little over 1,200 people voted today. And at points when we were here, some people waited for up to an hour. From the wait at the front of the line. Um, about 45 minutes to the middle about 30 minutes or so and to even the back probably like five minutes voters turned out in full force at the old broad ripple high school to cast their ballots <laughs> around lunchtime the line extended from the cafeteria all the way to the parking lot just looking back and knowing you went through this whole line how does it feel to finally be up at the front very good i have a full day so took time out of my day to to get here and so i'm very excited to get to the front of the line and make my voice heard the Marion County Election Board confirms to WRTV a Downs printer contributed to some of the wait. The other two reasons, a lot of address changes to process and simply just a lot of people who came to this location. It's frustrating that there's lines, but it's really important that we get to be able to do this sort of thing. Not many people get the ability to do this, so any wait is an okay wait for me. Over at St. Thomas Aquinas Church on the city's near north side, lines are running smoother. If you can't complain about it if you don't vote, so if we want to have a voice, we got to get out here. Um, I, I was thankfully off today, so I'm just spending my time doing what I got to do. But that wasn't the case in the early morning hours. I actually stopped by twice earlier. The voting machine was jammed, so I had to come back, but it went smoothly the second time. The Marion County Election Board confirms a ballot got jammed in the machine. It's unclear if voting continued as a poll worker resolved the issue. Super easy. Everybody's really helpful and very happy and just excited to be able to vote. Now, the Marion County Election Board tells me they expect results to start coming in around 645 this evening, so less than 45 minutes from now. Of course, when we get those results, we will start publishing them ourselves. That'll be online our website, WRTV as well as our app, WRTV app, and also on air at 7 and 11. But for now, live in Broad Ripple, Nikki Dementry, WRTV. Nikki, thank you.